just getting warmed up. Bring him up. Useful experience indeed.
experience. I see. So the Aramia and her crew were... But why? There's nothing unusual. Something definitely happened on the Aramia, sir. The surviving crewman said as much. Until he did. And then, there's the matter of the unidentified life form we encountered out there on the beach. I believe there must be some connection between them. Supreme Commander Gagan, may I request an analysis of this object? Very well, I'll see to it. The matter interests us greatly. <sighs> so, were you surprised? About the aliens, or rather, extraterrestrials. Surprised is not the word, sir. Just look at this base they're constructing. Indeed. All of this is thanks to the Aldarian scientific capabilities. Sir, you were aware of their existence, weren't you? USTA command and we captains were, yes. So Crow knew too. He's good at that. You never can tell what secrets he's hiding. Unlike someone I know who's like an open book. Cute. With matters being as they are, we've decided to join with the Eldarians in a co-exploration effort. USTA Headquarters has approved the plan. Consider yourselves informed. Sir. Understood. Effective immediately. I would like you to form a composite team with FaZe here. FaZe may be young, but he has incredible potential. What he mainly lacks is experience, and this will be an excellent opportunity for him to gain some. If it's not Bring too much trouble, you. may I ask you to work with him? It's far from trouble, sir. He saved our lives with his powers. It was almost like magic. Ah, yes. Symbology. That is but one of FaZe's many talents. I do hope you'll help me in bringing out the rest of them. Yes, sir. Teach him how to suck cock immediately. Looking forward to it. And I. All right, pretty boy. You all must be tired from your efforts. Feel free to get some rest. Way ahead of you. Come talk to me when you're ready to accept your next assignment. Yes, sir. Just in case there's anything I can get locked out of, I'll finish exploring the ship first. Jeez. Whoa. <sighs> out of my way, civilian. What? What's with him? He's scary. That uniform. He must be with the 13th Eldarian Independent Armored Division. A captain, it would seem. 
I've never seen him before. But you don't hear very nice rumors about the 13th. <sighs> Man, that guy means business. Oh, he's a dick. I've got new instructions for you. Come. Sir. Wow, it was trashed. And they fixed it in such a short time. Incredible. So this is Eldarian technology. This way.
The design concept behind the warp drives we use in our ships actually comes from Eldar. The Eldarians' technology far surpasses our own. They have a warp technique employing subspace bubbles, one we couldn't implement. We had to use wormholes. What you see before you now are the fruits of that technology made real. The hull may not have changed much, but under the hood, she's like a ship from several centuries in our future. Amazing! Mr. Maverick, from this moment on, you're the captain of the new Kalnus. Me? A captain? You've handled your duties thus far admirably. I recommended you myself. The official order should arrive soon. Field promotion. But... Now, let me brief you on your mission. Well, actually, a command The new duties of SRF-003 Kalnus and her crew nice are as that. follows. You will investigate unexplored planets within warp range, as well as participate in the search for the lost Aquila. Miss Sionji, you'll be Mr. Maverick's first officer. Support him well. Sir! Faye Shifa Boleth of Planet Eldar. You will also be a part of the mission. Me too? Sir? Why oh, I thought the three of you were already a team. This is a Yes, sir. Discussed. We are indeed a team. I happily accept your order, sir. Listen, Mr. Hold Maverick, on. I know me, exactly Taylor. what you want to say. But since the warp incident, the SRF has been severely crippled. All the other officers of Captain Class are injured and unable to handle the duties. I, too, have my hands full overseeing this base. Unfortunately, I can't even provide you with an adequate crew. This will be a difficult mission carried out by a select few. And right now, you're the only one capable of leading it. How about it, son? Do you accept? Uh, and I'm better, dude. I'm only standing here today because of a string of lucky coincidences. I know I didn't earn this through my own ability. Raimi, FaZe, I'll be counting on the two of you. Of course. I'll do whatever I can to help, Edge. Together, we can do this. I stand with Raimi, Edge. I promise to be of service. I still have so much to learn from you, after all. I don't think you have anything to learn from me, but... Thank you, Raimi, FaZe. I'd say the advanced alien with I am the honored magic. to accept the position of Kalnus Captain, sir. Charge. Very good. You may launch whenever your preparations are complete. I pray for your journey's success. Sir! already been contacted, right? This is our new Aldarian crewman, FaZe. Wh what? You're just gonna ignore my joke? When did you develop such advanced ignoring skills? It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am FaZe Shifa Beleth, an Eldarian. Look at this! Even the rookie is completely unfazed! You kids! I'll be damned! You could try to be at least slightly businesslike when you meet new people, Welch. What is it? <laughs> it's a little late to be surprised, pal. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, you're one of these aliens, huh? Hmm. <laughs> you don't look very different from us at all. I thought 
should be all like, you know. Rawr! Give me the taste of human meat. I, I'm sorry, Face. She means well, I think. No, it's all right. I'm quite used to false preconceptions. Oh, I'm just kidding. Sorry, Fake. Wait, Fade, was it? Anyway, Fail. It's Faze. Right, right, Fame. So, about that monster? Truth is, those things are actually Earthlings, you know. Earthlings? After just two more molting seasons, Edge will be turning into one of those. So be careful you don't get eaten, okay? Ta-ta for now. Come on, Welch! Are you trying to traumatize him? Uh, just so you know, that's her idea of a joke, okay? Uh, of course, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Wanted to make some items. You feeling frisky today? Fancy free? Me too! You've got the amounts right, right? Ta-da! Your item is complete! Wanna make something? Already know what you want to make? Want to make something?
bad purchases. Upstairs. Main engine ports connected. Well, how does the captain's chair feel? So, this is how Crow sees the world. Edge? A little obsessed. Being a captain means you have to take responsibility for an entire ship. An entire crew. Three people. It's a heavy responsibility. Crow bears this burden every day of his life. Buck up, Edge. Look, you're one step closer to Crow now. Right? Yeah, I guess so. Besides, we three comprise the entire crew of the Kalmus. Now that you mention it, I guess we do. So listen, don't let this get to you. Just be yourself, okay? Thanks, Raimi. One day, I'll be able to bear this responsibility properly. I swear it. Star Ocean, here we come! Captain, launch preparations complete. This is the game, Likewise, game. Take a shot. ready to depart. All right? Kalnis, engage! Yes, yes sir! sir.
They threw themselves in this space. So sad. In the secret antagonist. His ship is missing because he's a traitor. Yes, um, everyone in the military does that. Also, his name is Edge. Such a dumb name. <laughs> Edge Maverick.
Hmm? Just my imagination? so lonely. Their civilization may not be as advanced as ours, but their way of life seems similar. I hope our translators work properly. Huh? That's... No, it can't be. The gods! The gods have come! Sounds about right. Our prayers have been answered! There's no mistaking it! I saw them with my own eyes! They came to us in their celestial ship! What? what's going on? Celestial ship? Yes. I believe there's a high probability he's referring to the Kalmus. He must have seen us land. And so they think we are gods, huh? We beg of you, O oh Holy Ones! Please deliver us! I am the elder of the village of Treom. My name is Gimdo. I should have been the one to greet you, but unfortunately, in this condition. <sighs> Our literature makes mention of a sickness known as Boculus. 
It is an ancient and infectious melody that renders the body under stone, as you can see. Then, in time... Hmm... I'm not detecting any viruses. So we can't determine how it spreads. Please, lend us your divine power. <sighs> it's not just the sickness. Monsters never seen before have begun to run rampant. Every night, we pray to the great star ocean, fervently begging for salvation. But alas... Ah. Young lady! Ah, hmm? uh, uh, sorry. Here you go, Grandpa. <sighs> Thank you, as always, Limmel. Sure. Don't forget to water it, Kay. She certainly is a... curious child, isn't she? Please forgive the intrusion. This is my granddaughter, Limmel. Her parents both succumbed to the buculus. Finished. Grandpa. I finished drawing your amulet, so I'm gonna go north for a little while. Limo, what are you saying? You can't go off on your own! I'll be fine. I'm just gonna go get a symbol and come back and heal everyone, okay? I knew it! Symbology! Those markings are symbological in nature, though they do seem a bit different from our Eldarian symbols. Symbology? That's the strange power you use, right, Face? So... The people on this planet can use symbology, too? Yes. In fact, Limmel is the most adept symbologist in the village. So she's my Best healer. in the village? <laughs> Surely you jest. Shatter your bonds and come forth from the gates of purgatory. Cerberus! He's my little doggy. Kay? Was that this girl's symbology? Limo, how dare you? No, it's all right. <sighs> anyway, what's she talking about? She's going to get a symbol? To the north lies a citadel called Alanair. An oracle skilled in the symbological arts resides there. If we can but entreat the Oracle to bestow upon us a symbol to cure the Baculus. That's why I said I'm going, Kay. Young lady, I'm telling you, you can't go alone. So, I'd like to beg a favor, if I may. You want us to go with her? What? Would you? No. Hold on, Edge. Are you serious? We can't just ignore these people, can we? Directive, but... man. Have you forgotten our SRF directives? To investigate planets suitable for colonization and eliminate impediments to said colonization. This boculus definitely sounds like an impediment to colonization to me. Finding a cure for this disease would make a fitting mission for the SRF, don't you think? <sighs> what a nice public face you put on. Public face? Is that a joke? Any captain would make the same decision. It's not a joke at all. You let the real reason slip a second ago. We can't just ignore these people. Isn't that where your heart really is, Edge? No, his heart is on the edge. In any case, we shall journey to this Alanair Citadel you speak of, and return with the healing symbol. Phase? We are a team, aren't we? And besides... How am I supposed to learn anything from you if I'm left behind here? It's not like I've got any great knowledge to impart. Can we truly make such a request of you, gracious gods? Of course, but I do have a favor I'd like to ask. Please, stop treating us like gods. All right? As you wish. Thank you. Heresy. I'm Edge Maverick. It's nice to meet you, Limmel. And I'm Remy Sionji. 
We'll protect you, Limmel, so don't you worry about anything. Lim. Lim? Would you rather we call you Lim? Edgy. Ray Ray. Edgy Ray Edgy? Ray. Edgy <laughs> Ray Ray. Edgy <laughs> Ray Ray. Ray Ray, huh? Well, my name is Faze Shifa Belef. So, how about Fazy, Lim? Limmel. Faze. Hey, at least it's not Mr. Boleth or something, right? I hesitate to agree. I'm going, Grandpa. Hey? Be careful out there, little limo. I'll make sure to heal you first, Grandpa. Favoritism. Kay, we're going, Kay. <sighs> She knows some more magic. Firebolt. So. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
put the Avengers outside, baby. The treasure chest. to their death or fight giant monsters, something like that. <laughs> 